Today I am range testing the Ishin Novice 4 ready to fly package. This is a popular request that I have had with this kit. I didn't want to do a range test of it straight away because I wanted to do other content with it, like see how it flies with an Insta360 Go, see how it flies with Lion packs. But I have done that now. So let's see how far I can push this model. I just want to make sure that it has recorded the home position. So should be my landing pad here. And I'm looking for that going down to zero. Yep, pretty much. Okay, I'm using an 850 milliamp hour LiPo here. It is a fairly duff one because, you know, if I lose this guy, then I'm not losing a nice battery at the same time. I am flying into wind here in case I need to fly back urgently or the GPS rescue kicks in and it flies home the quickest way possible. We're at 260 meters here with the RSSI in the 50s. So the bottleneck here I thought would be the D8 receiver because usually you could only get 80 meters out of these things. And the warning was set at 40 dB. You can see it's there at 40. Wow, okay, I'm actually losing video here a little bit, but I've removed the warning off the transmitter so that it can go further or otherwise it just get really annoying. Oh, my video is wigging out here. That's amazing. Look at that. Nearly 600 meters. Oh, whoa, it's getting dodgy. Over 600 meters and I cannot get it to fail safe. Oh, we've got the altitude flashing there as well. That's not quite that accurate, the altitude with GPS. There's no way that uh, we are close to the 120 meter limit here. I know what that looks like with the uh, DJI quadcopters. So let's try this again. I'm trying to get it to do a fail save. Of course, I could just turn the transmitter off and it would come home. I don't really want to do that because what I'm trying to establish here is whether the control signal will ever wig out before the video signal. And whoa, oh, okay, turn, 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 turn. Whoa, 750 meters and the video started to go. Of course, the problem with doing that and letting the video completely go is that the way they've set this model up is there is no GPS rescue on a switch. So if the video goes, it is curtains, but wow, this, package continues to surprise me because when I was flying around trees close into me, the RSSI was going down to 40 dB, which you would expect it to run out, but it just went all the way down to 40 and below there and the video started getting lost. So yeah, I mean, this package is just great, isn't it? Seems like you can ignore that warning, make sure you get enough height. Uh, what I'm gonna try and do here is get low in this field because it means I don't have to walk as far. You know, we're only uh, 200 meters away here and see if I can dip below the hedge line and see if I can get it to do a fail safe that way. We have to be, I think, 200 meters away for it to do it, so I'm 227 there. And the RSSI in the 60s, what is going on here? Yeah, I think, you know, if I hadn't turned the warning off, it would be beeping at me, which is annoying. So I guess that's just a setup thing because it seems to go lower than uh, 40 dB. Maybe that's 40%. You know, it's hard to say with these receivers. But look at that. I was wondering what's going on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, amazing. So unless I turn the transmitter off, that would be the only way to get the GPS rescue to kick back in. So even though Ishin has put a GPS unit on here, looks like your video is going to wig out before your control, which is what you want, really. And that's surprising because D8 receivers usually, they only good for 80 meters, but this one, it does seem to have two antennas, so diversity. And uh, yeah, this package just keeps getting better and better. So I'll link in the video description, my original review, because you literally get everything that you need to fly, like absolutely everything, you know. I took the case 
out to the field, all I did was charge the batteries, and that is the batteries in the transmitter, which you get, the batteries in the goggles, which you get, and the batteries for the quadcopter, which you get, as well as a charger, so you can, you know, you can charge it in the field if you have got the facilities to do that. So, you know, other than the durability of the frame, this is a superb package, and I'm already recommending it to friends who have seen what we have been doing at this field and they're wanting to get into FPV. This is the full package, man. I know it doesn't seem right to be, you know, saying get an Ishin package, but I cannot fault this. And the video feed is so clear as well. It's amazing. Anyways, there you go. That is my range test of the Ishin Novice 4 ready to fly package. I'll put a link in the video description as well as a pinned comment if you wish to get one. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.